All right, uh, welcome to this dashboard tutorial. Today we're going to talk about uh, the Z1 dashboard and track maps. Uh, track maps are obviously very important uh, in uh, racing. Uh, helps you know where you are on the track, helps you know where your competitors are, uh, and uh, helps you stay ahead of them. And the Z1 dashboard comes with five different types of track maps uh, included. And you can use one uh, or up to five of those in your uh, car definition uh, of the dashboards. So right now I'm looking at uh, track map number one. Uh, this one shows on the left right here the track and uh, each of these dots represents one of the cars uh, and the number within the dot is that car's current uh, position. So this is a practice session so these positions are just based on lap times uh, as opposed to a race where it would be based upon uh, your actual position in that race. Some important things to look at on uh, the track map, and all the track maps have these, is uh, each sector is highlighted. Uh, so you can see where the sector starts and where it ends. And uh, at the bottom here, you have the amount of time left in the session. So in this case, 54 minutes. Uh, and PD is pit stop delta. Uh, and so that's uh, 30 seconds, it is in seconds. And uh, in another tutorial, we'll talk about how you can set this and how it can be automatically determined. And then you have the current time of day. Uh, this arrow in the middle is the wind direction and the wind speed. So right now we have a uh, two mile an hour uh, wind speed uh, in the southerly direction. On the right here, uh, in this particular track map, we have the driver positions. So as I'm just sitting in the pits and I haven't actually set a lap time, my lap time here is blank. Uh, and none of these other people at the bottom of the order have set lap times. Uh, if I had a lap time, it would be here on the right, along with the other cars who have set lap times. So my position right now in this practice session is uh, 44. Then at the bottom here, we have uh, my current lap time. And again, I'm just sitting in the pits, so my lap time is just ticking up. And uh, then I have how much fuel I have in the tank. Right now it's uh, 10.6 gallons, and the amount of fuel to finish the lap and the number of laps to go. Uh, right now there's a zero because I haven't actually driven any laps, so the system doesn't have any data to use to determine those numbers. Uh, and the uh, fuel being in gallons, that can be done in uh, kilograms, in liters, or in uh, pounds. Now if I switch to the next track map, uh, number two, this again shows the same information of the track map on the left. But on the right here, we have information about my car. So I have uh, the uh, a rev counter, a speed, gear, uh, the lap I'm on, how many have I completed, and my current position. Uh, if I rev the car, you can see that uh, you also have shift light LEDs here. And at the bottom, we have then my lap time, fuel, fuel to finish, and laps. And moving on to track map number three. This one includes a uh, relative position to the car ahead of you and the car behind you. So uh, in this practice session, the car ahead of me is just the person who's in 43rd position, and uh, the car behind me is in 44th position. Uh, they have not set lap times either, so their lap time is zero. Uh, in a race, this would show whatever their last lap time was. The delta. Uh, in a practice session is the difference between your best lap time and their best lap time. In a race, the delta is the difference between uh, whether you gained or lost uh, that to that competitor in the last lap. So if uh, you had gained half a second, this would be a minus 0.5, uh, but if you had lost half a second, it would be plus 0.5. And this allows you to know uh, if you actually are slowly pulling in the car ahead, or actually quickly pulling in the car ahead, uh, or if they're uh, pulling a gap on you. Uh, moving on to track map number four. Uh, this one is just the track. So for those of you who don't want any other information, all you're interested in is the track and the position of those cars, this is uh, the track map for you. And that's track map number four. And then uh, track map number five uh, shows again the track on the left. And on the right, uh, it combines our timing and scoring dashboard. So here we have your current lap time, uh, your current delta, your last lap, and your best lap. Uh, and again, since I haven't actually driven in anywhere just now, these are all zero. 
And uh, then for my position and my fuel usage down here, it's my first lap. I've completed no laps. I'm in 44th, 44th position. And uh, here's current fuel in the tank, how much I need to finish, and how many laps of fuel I have left to go. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, again, the dashboard software has these five track maps uh, included, and you can choose uh, one, two, three, four, or all five of them to use with your car definitions. And in another tutorial, we'll talk about how you can customize these track maps even more with uh, colors and sector times uh, and other options.